In this Wix tutorial, we're going to add blog categories. So let's navigate to our site. I'm going to select this site and edit it. Now this site already has a blog on it. If you need to add a blog to your site, you can do that pretty easy, easily in the editor or by picking a theme that includes a blog. Once you have a blog, you can go over here to the left hand side in your dashboard of your site. And we actually have a categories tab. Once we click on that, it's going to navigate us to our categories. Now there's one stipulation here or one little thing you should know. There's two sections. One's categories you add and one is all posts. All posts is kind of considered a category. You can rename this category to whatever you want, but this category includes all posts. You'll see how that matters here in a second. Now down here in the categories, you can have up to 100 different categories. To add a new category, we can click the new category button up here. Now we can title this whatever we want. So I'm going to title it pasta since I have pizza and I have um, ice cream, right? So we're going to have pasta, another food item. Now right here, this is going to change the way that your category looks on your page. So if you have all caps, you might consider doing all caps here in the title. You can give your category a description. You can also give it a category image. Now the cool thing here on Wix is if I click on category image and go to media from Wix, or I can even click on splash, I can search for items. So I bet you I can find a pasta image just by searching for pasta and then selecting one of these images. Now these images should be free, but you should check the licensing uh, in, this, in the settings of Wix or in the documentation of um, Wix just to make sure that you can use some of these free images. Then we have some SEO settings here that we could edit the URL slug on. So perhaps I want the category to be named pasta, but maybe I wanted the URL to be pasta dishes for some reason, right? You can change that so they don't have to match up. Now I just save this category and you can see we've added in the pasta category. But how do I attach posts to this? Well, over on our post tab, underneath our blog dropdown, once we have posts written, so we could create a new post for instance, and this could be our pasta post and uh, pasta post info, right? Could spell that right. On the left hand side, we have a categories button. We click on that button and we can actually attach this post to a specific category like this right here. And that's the main category of this post, which keeps things organized. Once we have this post attached to that category, we can hit publish. So now this post has been published. I'm going to exit out of this little pop-up. We can see right here that the category is pasta. We can see in our categories tab that we now have a post, a single post associated with that pasta category. We can also, if you notice there, move these categories around to however you want them to be displayed. So let's see how these categories look in our editor. I'm going to go to the home tab on my dashboard and then click edit site. And we're going to take a look at where we see these categories and how this kind of changes things on our site. So if we go to pages and menus, we can go to blog pages. We can see we have the blog and we can click on it. And you can see here, this is where your categories will pop up if you're on a standard blog page. So we have the all posts right there. And we have pizza, ice cream, and pasta. So if I click preview on this page, I'm gonna be able to click on these categories. So I could click on pasta and you see we have our pasta post right there. And that is how you can add categories here on Wix.